I'm not a doctor, but thanks to uh, Stephen Ambrose, I've got a greater appreciation of uh, the uh, uh, nature of human hearing and uh, earphones, in-ear earphones or listening devices. And today we're going to demonstrate a couple of um, problems that are resolved in the new Adele earphones by ACS Technologies. Uh, the, the two things or the two issues are what I call um, a pipe organ effect uh, and uh, also what I the second thing is what I call a water hose or a, a stethoscope effect uh, that's what I'm holding in my hand here you may have seen that uh, by a doctor and uh, First, I'm going to demonstrate what I call the uh, pipe organ effect, which, which uh, uh, you may ask, what has that got to do with the earphones? But as you'll see, if you hang on, um, it has a lot to do with it. So here I got a, you may have done this when you were uh, a young kid. Uh, you basically blow air on the uh, bottle. It can have some water or liquid in it. And, and the, the level of water or liquid will determine the frequency or the resonance of, of the air inside the bottle. Now here I'll make a demonstration for you. So that's uh, one size bottle. <coughs> if you go to a larger bottle or a larger volume you get a deeper deeper resonance. Let's try this one. Okay, it's very very clear. And then I'm gonna show you a little plastic piece here. This is about the same size as the human ear canal and uh, I've cut it at an angle here and I'm gonna close one side of it with my with the skin of my thumb or my finger and I'm going to see if I can get a resonance or a frequency going of this tube and um, uh, by the way look look at the computer screen you'll see probably see uh, the frequencies generated when I try this it's quite dramatic Looks like we have about 3 kilohertz resonance here on this uh, little device here. And interestingly, that is exactly the uh, sensitivity of the human ear where we have the most hearing. And uh, it also happens to be the frequency response of an earphone when you put that into the human ear. Uh, we, we can show that in a different video, but uh, when you if you put a test microphone in this tube here, you will get a resonance around 3 kilohertz. And th this resonance effect that I just demonstrated, I called it a pipe organ effect, but it's actually technically a Hemholtz resonator effect. And uh, why I and, and this effect is, is uh, very standard in human or earphones in the human ear canal because you have a sealed chamber here and there is a trapped air inside and it's going to resonate at a certain frequency. And uh, this is where the Adele earphones come to the rescue and I'm going to show you another demonstration which uh, illustrates this. This is a plastic bottle. It's a very it's like a bubble almost and I'm going to try to to get and you see there's it's about half full of water so it should have a very clear uh, resonance right well let's try I cannot get it to resonate and you may ask why is that it's no different than than this bottle we had before. Very clear resonance. Well, the answer is this bottle is flexible. It's 
it's not stiff, it's not rigid, and it doesn't resonate. And this is exactly how the Adele earphone is uh, constructed. It has, well, it's not made out of a totally uh, flimsy plastic like this bottle, but it has a second membrane uh, built into the earphone, which acts like, like this bottle without a resonance, without a Helmholtz resonance, without a pipe organ effect. So that's the reason why the Adele earphone, or one of the reasons why the Adele earphones uh, will sound so great, because they don't have the uh, resonance effect, and it, it's, it's more like listening to music or sounds in an open ear environment, which is what the human ear was designed to do. Human ear was not designed to have a sealed um, sound transducer in, inside the ear canal. Right now I'm running a water hose here and you can see the water flows out very nicely. There's no, uh, no, no great pressure. The utility company is providing the water pressure. But watch now when I cl close this with my thumb. See how the pressure dramatically increases. I can now use the same water with huge pressure to clean, clean my surface in my backyard. Again, this is without sealing or closing the water hose. And this is with see the huge difference in pressure. That's exactly what happens when you have an earphone and the earphone is sealed in a chamber in the ear canal. So in a similar manner to the uh, water hose effect that I just demonstrated, the stethoscope uh, also works on uh, a uh, principle of uh, pressure amplification. And uh, it doesn't use water, of course, and it doesn't have any electronics or ampl uh, amplifiers uh, in, inside of this simple device. It's just uh, a chamber and a closed tube going to your ear, sealing your ear. And Stephen Ambrose has pointed out that there is up to a thousand times amplification of sound pressure, even in a simple device like this. And now you can perhaps you get a greater appreciation for why um, a traditional earphone that's sealed in your ear canal, let's assume this plastic tube is your ear canal, and my finger is the eardrum inside your ear. So here you have a similar situation. It's a sealed chamber and any motion of the uh, ear molecules inside here Will, uh, will dramatically uh, increase the air pressure. Uh, the ear was not designed to have a sealed earphone in your ear canal.